The Pico Balance technology offers you a unique perspective to small scale systems such as cells or colloids by enabling you to measure their mass. Pico Balance is an advanced cantilever based technology that has high mass and time resolution. It allows you to research biological systems under physiological conditions and is compatible with light microscopy. In the following, we'll demonstrate the workflow via the mass measurements of mammalian cells. First, transfer a cantilever, the mass sensor, in a glass dish and place it into a UV or plasma cleaner. This cleans the surface of the cantilever and prepares it for further treatment. It only takes a few minutes. Then, immerse the cantilever into a solution with adhesive proteins, which will allow cells to adhere to the cantilever. Incubate the cantilever in this solution. Meanwhile, you can prepare the setup. Fix the petri dish holder onto the stage. Place a petri dish containing cell culture medium into the live cell incubator. It will ensure optimal conditions for the cells in terms of pH, humidity and temperature. When the cantilever incubation is finished, take out the cantilever, rinse it and insert it into the cantilever holder and mount it onto the drive AFM. Place the drive AFM head onto the stage such that the cantilever holder seals off the live cell incubator. Now for the cells. We can aspirate the medium, wash the cells, add trypsin and place the cells into the incubator. After a few minutes the cells are detached. We can spin them down. Remove the trypsin and add cell culture medium. Open the gas valve to control the pH of the medium. On its way into the live cell incubator, the gas gets humidified. Once this is done, pipe it some of the medium containing the cells into the petri dish. Now we're all set up and ready to experiment. First, select the cantilever. Switch the readout and actuation lasers on and let them self-align onto the cantilever. For better overview of what is happening, we remove the filters in the optical pathway. Perform a thermal tune to locate the resonance and find the sensitivity of the cantilever. Then, let the photodiode automatically center. The first measurement is performed without cell. A frequency sweep determines the resonance frequency of the bare cantilever. It is used as a reference. Then, using the optical microscopy and stage control, place the cantilever on top of a cell. Then touch the cell gently and lift the cantilever up. Perform a new frequency sweep. The difference in resonance frequency is caused by the mass of the cell. To record the cell mass with high temporal resolution, start tracking the changes of the new cantilever frequency.
Simultaneously, start the optical recording. You can combine your mass measurements with transmitted light and fluorescence images to gain information about cell morphology and state. It is also used for the cell position determination, which is needed for the later analysis if standard position-sensitive cantilevers are used and the cell position is not determined otherwise. And here we see the results of our measurements. This particular HeLa cell, an ovarian cancer cell, grew about 1.5 nanograms over a time of 20 hours. We could for instance now add drugs to the medium and see how the cell growth is affected.